no. I'll never be a shortage of people saying all kind of shit. Some of you will call it shit because it's actually the truth and you don't want to hear it. You know those they manipulated in such a way they think they're controlling the entity. But we all have our songs and we all have our stories. And every once in a while you end up where you don't want to be no matter how you try. You see, I lost it. I'm caught in a rage. Like an animal locked in a cage. Now I look into the barrel of a gauge. It goes boom! <laughs> Yeah. 
places, Australia, get on your hand. But right now we've got to ask that question before we go further. How many of y'all seen suicidal for the first time tonight? How many of y'all seen suicidal before? to welcome each one of you to a beautiful place we call The Church of Suicidal!
own choice. They say you can't teach. Ah. They say you can't teach an old dog a new trick. But I will say this: when I was young, I never really cared for people too much. I didn't start that way. I just met too many of them. But I try much harder now to give the benefit of a doubt. And I realize everybody's going through their thing and at any particular moment you don't know what they're going through. And there's been times, unfortunately, someone has said something and I felt like you don't know how lucky you are and how close you are to dying. Because they thought they could get away with it. And I realize we all go through things, a lot of things we don't want to. A lot of things that people try to put upon us. A lot of things we don't know how to get it off us. But right now, there's all kinds of people here. Hopefully, none of you are alone.
Emotions are a lot of things. Sometimes we confuse them, manipulate them, try to use them like Play-Doh to get them the way we want. But I've said this story before when I was young. Everywhere you go, people have a song. Yo, you heard this song? Isn't it cool? And I listened. I heard it, but I didn't feel it. And they have another song. Oh, it's so catchy. Baby, baby, baby. And I realized I didn't know who baby is, but I didn't want to know who baby is. And everywhere you go in the elevator, hello music, there's always music somewhere. You hear it, but you don't feel it. I remember the first time I was a little kid and heard a song that made me stop. I felt like I was going 100 miles an hour, but it was just, what the hell is this? And I knew it was different. And different isn't always better. But when different is better, that's the best way to be. So. So many songs I've known over the years, people sing along, they have smiles on their face, they go home and they feel like fucking shit. This song right here is what we call not a sing-along, it's a feel-along. It's what my dad told me, he said, war is W-A-R, wrong against right. You don't decide how many guns and battles emotionally and physically you take on that battle. This one right here, we all get and take on that battle. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to hear you. Get your fucking fist in the air! We're gonna get all them motherfucking demons out! This is war inside my fucking head!
They fucking with ya.
No excuses, that's why I'm up again. Okay, ah! we're gonna try it. La that's pretty good. Let's get a little loud Italian in there. No. Get the sopranos in there. No. I better go home because I can't sing. Do you all try this? We do this together. Everybody. No. Lovely.
yesterday we were in Mexico, played at a place called the House of Bands of Skate Park in Mexico City. And over the years, I've found that a lot of you might relate to this for different stages or whatever. People always looked at me no matter how little I was, the way I dressed. And they gave that look like, we got a eye on you. I go, that's kind of weird, you know what I mean? That's kind of tripping me out. Oh, they would do the invisible eye. But they pulled the kid when they did it. And the funny thing is, if they could look at my heart, I didn't want shit to do with them. I didn't want to be around them. I didn't know they were going to be there. I'm doing my own thing. But in life, it always happens. We think we want something until we find out that's not what we want. And eventually, we get to the point where something we feel it for the right reason. And we know what we want to do. And we believe in it so strongly. And there's never a shortage of people say, you can't do that. And the problem is, too many people believe it. My brother James Red Dog New at Dogtown Skates said when he got on a skateboard at 12 years old, he knew that was going to be his journey in life. There was no pro skateboarding, there wasn't this. He just knew that meant something special. My brother's five years old with me, I got on that skateboard, and I felt that special feeling too until. Ah, shit! I fell down and the motherfucker hurt. But it felt good, so I get up and do it again. I fall down and go, boom! Ah! And I've told this story a million times and I can tell them because it's very important. I went to my brother because I wanted that shortcut. I wanted that secret. How do we stop from falling? He goes, you don't stop falling. You just get your ass right back up. Because I will tell you something in life. If you're scared of falling, you will. You're scared of failing, you will. But if every time you fall, that is not a failure. If you learn from it, get a little bit better, you will be successful. And as long as you get up one more time than you fall, you're gonna have a good fucking life. Because no one can tell you you're done until you fucking give up on yourself. And please don't do that. So we got any skaters here tonight? We dedicate this to the skateboarders, but more important, the people that really refuse to skate through life. Get your fucking hands up! This is Bulls Ass to Sky! <laughs>
Thank you. From the time I was 14 years old, I heard this. When you're gonna grow up. 16 years old, when you're gonna grow up. 18 years old, when you're gonna grow up. 20 years old, when you're gonna grow up. Kept saying it from people I don't give a fuck. I go, when the fuck you gonna shut up? But I realize people will never understand what you're doing when you're doing it for the right reason. They will always understand when you're following somebody else and doing it for the wrong reason. They can understand that shit. But when you break away from the pack and you don't get fucked and they're like, Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, you wouldn't do that. Oh, no. We should never be scared of what someone else says. Unless they love you and you know they love you and they're saying it because they fucking care about you. nine out of ten times they'll have a smile on their face and they say I know what you need motherfucker you don't know me and you don't know what I need I need you to get the fuck out of here so people always say what's wrong with you I don't smoke I don't do drugs never have don't drink I don't know what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me is I don't want to be like fucking you and finding problems with everybody else in the fucking world when there's more in your fucking heart of badness than that. So what is crazy? Yeah, as we say, cycle with the C. Crazy enough to see things the way they are, not to manipulate them, just try to control them and say it's out of our control, but to change it little by little every day. We gotta get crazy to believe in yourself. You gotta be crazy to love yourself. You gotta be crazy to stand up for yourself. You gotta be crazy to tell all the fucking people, fuck you, I'm doing it my way. Get your hands on the air! Get your bills to me!
sometimes you try to do things, and it just doesn't work out.